TradersLounge.com. Hello everyone, how are you doing today? Welcome to the Pro Traders Launch Public Stream, which is hosted by me, Netso Kronos. So sit back, relax, and let's dive into the charts on what happened this week and of course my personal view uh, for this lower range. Um, I would just dive into the charts immediately and see what happens. So basically we were looking at the VWAP strat, which almost always give you a bias if Bitcoin strength is powerful or it's it's not. So here we can see we try to reclaim the mid uh, band, which we really didn't do. We tried to consolidate and push up, but that wasn't so successfully. We have some two, three tries, which didn't work out really well for the bulls. So yeah, the last, the last touch we had was really juicy for a nice potential short. From there on, of course, we started to to dip lower. Um, what I was mentioning in Discord was basically on the weekly time frame where every potential high time frame low was made with a bigger week on the weekly candle so if again we go on the weekly time frame you can see here bigger weeks and most of the time those weekly candles gave some nice reactions to the upside and that was my first initial idea that we might come and take the lows again so what did we do again we did just range make a nice triangle here this as you can see once the triangle got broken, you got a nice back test, and from there on, we just dipped lower and lower. Of course, in this range, we had nice bearish divergences, and we were talking about that with the members. And as you can see, give it some time so the data is loaded. Basically, we had here on price, we had higher highs, and as you can see, CVD just went up and up and up and up. So there was some nice absorption on futures, and yeah, I mean everything was pinpointing that the probability of the lows being taken out was was quite high. And in the end, what did happen? We did go. And take the lows. We made a nice SFP. There was actually another thing which we monitor, um, and that is dollar index, uh, the XUI. And we were, we also have Sunday sessions where we go over basically stocks, the, the dollar index, and so on. So we can, we can. Um, make our bias on, on Bitcoin and this was the plan was made basically in October already where we waited for that weekly order block on 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 the XUI and if you go and check the XUI we can see that order block with this purple area where it is 
So this was, again, a nice confluence as BTC is inverse correlated with DXUI, of course. And once we tapped that support area, that just added some additional confluence while we might push down, of course, DXUI, DXUI went up. And that was the last push we did on, on Bitcoin. And what happens? What happened at the low? We made a nice SFP. And at that time, what I look to monitor is spot absorption, of course, on every, on every key pivot high, key pivot low. Uh, there will be nice spot activity. And of course, bigger liquidations and delta spikes and so on. How we check them is, of course, with order flow. Um, here's an example on Coinbase. You got hundreds and hundreds Bitcoin at that lows selling and it got really nicely absorbed. This is Binance. And if you check also Coinbase, again, you can see some nice absorption on spot. Um, what was our additional confluence for that SFP long was, of course, the thresholds were broken on the liquidations right at the lows. You got nice volume spike, the negative delta, which, of course, again, we can specifically see for every exchange on the order flow. And yeah, from there on, we just went up and up and up, made some nice order blocks in between for support. Um, yeah. And again, where are we now? We are at the band resistance. So the v anchor v web resistance. And if we pull the one profile, you can see there is also the point of control of this whole range. Um, so yeah, a nice take profit zone. So what else we had at these highs? Basically some session naked point of controls, which we just cleared out like to the dollar. Um, so yeah, this, this was really a nice take profit zone. Um, so for my next potential targets or potential setup, what setups, what I'm looking at is basically a deviation of this lower range. So here we have the value area low value area high, we have some liquidity resting above these highs. And basically, if we look here, we have a naked daily point of control, which is around 17k. And at the lows, we have a nice high volume area that's just around 16k or a little bit below. And so my my plan would be so let's see, See, here's the naked point of control. It's around 70. Okay. So the idea is the deviation, of course, of this value area. And if we just say, take something like this into consideration, flip it to the other side, we would then get this potential potential deviation of this range, something like this, or then backtest that value area low for some confirmation and lower, of course, for, for the backtest of the point control. And yeah, so something like this would really be nice if we start to blame here and then follow this fractal here. Consolidate a little bit, go under value area high, and then a continue, continuation to wherever BTC wants. Of course, we will be monitoring the price at that time. Um, yeah, for the downside, we do have this nice volume area that I showed you. So I am just patiently waiting for, of course, again, if we start to go lower, the value error will shift a little bit lower. So if we get that value error low, 
to be in this high volume area um, with, of course, a nice support. This again would be a nice potential setup for me if we come back down, reclaim some resistance, reclaim point of control. Then, of course, my next target, as I said, would be that naked POC. So I'm just monitoring these two areas for my next potential uh, trade. Uh, what one thing I would like to show you guys is our Discord channel, where, of course, you are all invited to join us and have fun with us. Uh, I would just like to maybe describe what we offer. So basically, we have the Sculpting Corner where we are giving some potential setups, some potential ideas, what we are seeing on the order flow. Uh, and all of the pro traders are almost constantly updating you with the live price action. We have the daily, the day trade ideas where we give out some nice um, intraday setups. The Swingers Club, which is a bit more high time frame. Of course, we got our two best Elliott Waves uh, legends, Yunus and General, which where they post uh, some amazing charts from from DXUI to BTC to to Ethereum or other alts. So it's it's just amazing uh, the precision on those targets. Uh, of course, we have altcoin ideas and legacy markets and of course pro tactics where we where we share our templates where we add some comments to our weekly lessons and of course the question sessions where every member is um where every member can ask a question anytime we are here for support uh for answering those questions so that every member may de develop fast as possible and be profitable. Of course, we have the live sessions here uh, with the questions, with the, the charts that we post. Um, yeah, and the members launch where every member can share their ideas on, on any assets. And of course, the general chat in the end is one of my favorites where we just enjoy have fun and yeah this is basically it from my side i hope you enjoyed the first video i made for the public uh stream so thank you guys and of course the final chart from my side is trade disclaimer stay safe and have fun bye